Militer Rusia memperbarui informasi operasi militer khusus di Ukraina dalam 24 jam terakhir. Juru bicara militer Rusia Igor Konasenkov tanggal 15 Juli merilis serangan rudal berbasis laut presisi tinggi kaliber tanggal 14 Juli menghancurkan markas garnisun Ukraina di Vinitsa. Igor menyebut saat rudal datang, sedang digelar pertemuan para komandan angkatan bersenjata Ukraina dengan perwakilan pemasok persenjataan asing dan membahas rencana pengiriman pesawat dan artileri. Juga membahas jadwal reparasi pesawat Ukraina. Serangan itu mengakibatkan eliminasi peserta rapat kata Igor Konasenkov. Terpisah, Presiden Ukraina Volodymyr Zelensky menyebut serangan di Vinitsa menyasar warga sipil. Konflik Rusia dan Ukraina memasuki hari 142, belum ada kemajuan signifikan dua pihak untuk berdamai. Pertemuan terakhir di Istanbul Turki pekan ini belum menghasilkan kesepakatan. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in Ukraine. High precision attacks launched at provisional bases of the 40s artillery brigades and Kraken nationalist group deployed in Kharkov have resulted in the elimination of up to 200 nationalists, including about 50 foreign mercenaries and 19 units of armament and military equipment. Pinpoint attacks of Russian aerospace forces launched at the bases of right sector nationalist group deployed in Artomovsk, Donetsk People's Republic have resulted in the elimination of about 300 nationalists and up to 30 units of armored and special motor vehicles. Attack launched at provisional base of the 45th Artillery Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine deployed near Sharbaki, Zaporozhye region has resulted in the elimination of barracks with over 70 servicemen. Artillery units have eliminated up to 70 nationalists and 11 armored vehicles of the 128th Mountain Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces near Lugovoye and Nova Andreevka, Zaporozhye region. On July 14th, caliber high-precision sea-based missiles were launched at the House of Officers of the Garrison in Vinnytsia. The facility hosted a conference of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Command with representatives of foreign armament suppliers aimed at discussing the issues on sending another batch of aircraft, destruction means as well as on organizing the operation of Ukrainian aircraft. The attack has resulted in the elimination of the conference participants. High precision attacks of the Russian Aerospace Forces have resulted in the elimination of five command posts and signal nodes, including one of the 10th Air Assault and the 1st Tank Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces near Proskovyevka, Donetsk People's Republic, and Prosyana, Dnepropetrovsk region. One launching ramp of Bukem-1 air defense missile system near Sol, Donetsk People's Republic, as well as 43 areas of manpower and military equipment concentration. Within the counter-battery warfare, two platoons of Ukrainian MRLS, two Getsin B artillery platoons near Dzerzhinsk, Donetsk People's Republic, as well as 84 areas of artillery units have been neutralized. Operational tactical and dummy aviation, missile troops and artillery have neutralized 18 command posts as well as 211 areas of manpower and military equipment concentration. Fighter aircraft of the Russian Aerospace Forces have shot down two MiG-29 airplanes of Ukrainian Air Force near Slavyansk and Trushkovka Donetsk People's Republic. Russian air defense means have shot down two Su-25 airplanes of the Ukrainian Air Force near Barmashova, Nikolaev region, as well as nine Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles near Balaklia, Izum, Pishanoe, Ternovaya, Kharkov region, Novaya Kakhovka, Kherson region, and Vesola Tarasovka, Lugansk People's Republic. In addition, nine projectiles launched by Uragan MRLS have been intercepted near Karcisk, Korovi Yar, Kanjankova, Donetsk People's Republic, Andreevka, Kharkov region, and Tomaruno, Kherson region. In total, 253 airplanes and 137 helicopters, 1,543 unmanned aerial vehicles, 355 air defense missile systems, 4,060 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 746 combat vehicles equipped with MRLS, 3,147 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 4,341 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation.